Hi guys, Sajjad Hussain again with a new video. In this video, I am going to design a two-way slab. I am going to take the example of uh, ACI PCA notes 31808 and the example is example number 19.1. This shows that we have to design a slab which has three bays in X and three bays in Y direction. In X direction, the spacing of the bays uh, is uh, 14 feet. In Y direction, the spacing is 18 feet. Other informations are given over here. The story height is 9 feet. The column dimension are 16 by 16 inch. Uh, lateral load by shear wall, which we are not going to do anything. The partition weight is 20 pound per square feet. Service live load is 40 pound per square feet. F dash C is 4000 PSI, FY is 6000 PSI and this example is solved by direct design method or is this is analyzed and designed by direct design method. <coughs> so let us start our calculation. We will start the model by clicking on file, new model design code of course we will select ACI 31808 design preferences this will be by default it will be the same minimum cover we are not going to change any minimum cover preferred bar size we will prefer here four number four two way that's okay minimum cover for the beam we are not designing any beam over here post tension stress we are not doing anything post tensioning or any pre stressing anything so we will leave as it is project information we can add whatever here for example project name we can say example 19.1 of PCA notes uh, there is no project number you can put any fictitious value engineer uh, I can put my initials checker none ok so whatever information you you want to insert you can insert units of course US default units we are using so we will not change anything now there are so many options available almost 10 options are available blank flat slab flat slab with perimeter beams two-way slab base mat grids only waffle slab rib slab single footing and combined footing so we will select flat slab and here we will insert the values Column dimensions are 16 by 16 inch, so our edge distance will be 8 inches. On the right hand side also it will be 8 inches. Number of spans 3, the spacing in x direction is 14. Sorry, 8 inch. 14 feet in y direction of course 8 inch here also 8 inch number of span 3 and in y direction the spacing is 18 fine the thickness of this lab as calculated over here is 7 inch based on the control of deflection 7 inch so we will select 7 inch over here column size we know the column dimension are 16 by 16 so we will select a square column of 16 inch dimension column height is 9 feet that is the story height given over here model column intersection as a stiff slab leave it as it is 
Now dead load is additional dead load is partition weight 20 pound per square feet. Live load here is 40. So let's change to 40. Include drop panels. No, there are no drop panels. Post tensioning, nothing. Okay. So here is the plan of our model. 14 feet, 14 feet, 14 feet and 18, 18 and 18 feet. The materials are 4000 PSI, grade 60 bars, slab 7 inches, no beam, reinforcing bars, we all know that is there, no tension, nothing, no soil, nothing, nothing. Let's see, there are load patterns, dead and live, load cases, dead and live. Yes. Now we have to define load combination. Let us define load combination. We need the strength uh, load, ultimate load combination, but we don't need service. We don't need service. We are not designing any foundation. That's it. So there are two default load combination. Let us see what are these. <coughs> 1.4D okay and this should be 1.2 d plus 1.6 live that's correct right. they are also using the same thing here you can see 1.2 d plus 1.6 live so ultimate load is 193 pound per square feet now let us see the design design combination Yes, both the combinations are there. So let us run the run analysis and design. Let's save the file, the example 19.1. Yeah, we can override that one, no problem. Now we can display, for example, here, we can display the strip forces. No, we are interested in combination, of course the second combination, moments, let it be in layer B which is longer, no, we are interested in values, apply. So here we can see that at the end we have the values for middle strip and the column strips, here also it is calculated as end span, in interior span, negative moment, positive moment, interior negative, etc. These values are slightly different than these values. Why? Because the way the calculations are done. But let us see what is the end result. That means this uh, calculation of the flexural reinforcement. Here we can see that flexural and shear strength at the exterior column. So they are designing the column strip and column strip shows at the end there are four bars, four num uh, number of number of bar is four and total number of bar is six. That means number four, six bars. Let us see what is there. So display, slab design, let us see the bottom bars. Now we want to see rebar intensity, no. Do we want to see total rebar area for the strip, no. We want to see the number of bars of size, our bars are number 4 bottom number 4 ok and layer B no show the values ok let's apply so here we can see in the column strip there are 6 number 4 bars so that means the calculation is perfectly ok although there is slight difference in the, the, the 
moment of calculations, the end moment, the negative and positive moments, but at the end the result is the same, that the number of bars is the same. So that means we can use CSI safe, very safely and we can design our two-way slab. Hopefully you will like my video. So please do not forget to subscribe my, my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.